Both phones are equipped with very high quality cameras. In fact, the main cameras on both phones look identical when looking at the specifications on paper. Both the main rear camera on the Note 8 and the rear camera on the S8 Plus have dual pixel 12 megapixel sensors. Both front cameras are 8 megapixel shooters with autofocus. The obvious main difference between the two phones camera setups is the second rear camera found on the Note 8. The second camera is also 12 megapixels and has a slightly larger sensor that gives the effect of a 2x optical zoom. Samsung calls this camera its telephoto camera and the main sensor its wide angle camera. When testing, I made sure to set everything to automatic. Also, I made sure to take both pictures at the same exact time. On the Note 8, I took an additional picture from the same vantage point that also utilized the telephoto lens. When shooting outside, on a nice sunny day, it's almost impossible to distinguish between the pictures shot on each phone. The amount of detail each of the phone's cameras picks up is great. But when looking at the image that the telephoto camera on the Note 8 captured, you can see how useful the second lens may prove to be. For all of those shots, you can get more detail because it shoots a closer photo. This becomes more obvious when looking at little details in pictures taken with the telephoto lens. It captures a closer image, so when you zoom into the closer image, it will not lose as much quality as when you zoom in from a single lens on the S8 Plus. If for some reason you couldn't get any closer to the subject of the photo, the telephoto camera will also help you with getting a closer image without having to sacrifice quality by zooming in. When looking at the pictures from the front camera, they may look identical. But when zooming into my eyebrow region, you can see how much more detail the Note 8's camera picks up. When looking at portraits taken with the rear cameras of both phones, you can start to see a clear difference in quality between the phone's cameras. The picture from the Note 8 was taken with the Note 8's live focus mode that utilized both cameras and lets you adjust the amount of background is blurred after the fact. The S8's picture was taken utilizing its selective focus mode that also blurs the background. Videos shot on both cameras were set to maximum quality, which is 4K at 30 frames per second. The S8's camera shows one of Samsung's flaws of oversaturating. The Note 8 appears to improve upon this issue. Videos taken on the Note 8 looks more natural while maintaining the same level of detail. It should also be noted that the telephoto camera also has optical image stabilization, so you can get closer to the subject while keeping the shot nice and smooth. I started to notice a significant difference once it started to get darker. The Note 8 appeared to handle low light a lot better than the S8 did. Looking at this picture of a hallway, it appears that the S8 handles low light by going to the darker areas and attempting to make the colors brighter. When this happens, the picture has a little more noise, and the colors become inaccurate. The Note 8's camera seems to be higher quality because of the fact that it can pick up details in low light. The software on the Note 8 doesn't have to do as much to compensate for the lack of information in low light shots. The images on the Note 8 simply look more accurate. The Note 8 also handles light a lot better than the S8. A major drawback that I noticed when testing the S8 was its inability to handle light sources. Streaks of light start to appear when a light source enters the frame of the S8's camera. The Note 8, on the other hand, handles leaves without hiccups. The Note 8's main camera begins to obviously differentiate itself when shooting in low light. Although I may have been critical of the S8's camera, it's still one of the best cameras that you can find on a smartphone to date. It's just that the way that the Note 8 handles low light and its added functionality with the dual camera system just makes it objectively the better smartphone camera, period. I'm going to be posting a lot of Note 8 content in the near future, so please click the logo down below to subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay up to date on my latest videos. Check the description for a link to my Twitter account, and if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.